Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Prior Chuck here, back with episode number three of our uh, Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. And you know what I did not do in between episodes? Go back and battle all those kids. Um, so I'm actually going to wait a little bit till we get some more encounters because we will get some pretty soon. Hopefully in this episode. These balloons are like exceptionally shiny. Like, am I crazy or? Oh, those poor combies. cases for our phone. We might as well get all of these because we're gonna One more. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, where is this? Chunk has got to go. First mod in the death box. I don't want the camera app. I want to update my Pokemon, my Rotom phone. Now that I've got all these cases. Actually, that one's kind of cool, because it's like from Pokemon Yellow. Uh, actually, that one's really neat, too. No, I'm not going to waste any time in the city. But you get it. If you join Team Star, you can join as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Doesn't want friends. 
Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Well, you want in on this too? If you're not here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We're near. Well, we've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew. But you knew that, right? You know exactly who you're messing with, and you're still coming at us with that attitude. You're scary, kid. If you joined Team Star, you'd be looking down from the top in no time. That's true, you keep watching that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. That's what that thing's called. No way, he beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero Boyda, what do you think you're doing? Ugh, it's the student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. Can't believe you, Friar. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. They picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over your, for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't, uh, not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. This is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Obtain the Terra Orb. You put the Terra Orb in your bag's key items pocket. Go ahead and terrestrialize, why not?
I was trying to see if I could... Hasta la vista. Okay. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just... Well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. I look at you, Friar, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Evie bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble's died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Master Friar, Miss Devota, how did you find your first school commute? I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Friar? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gate. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Friar flexed on him and ran him off. Oh, flexed on him. Okay. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master Friar, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint if you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Demona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such trouble. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. Child with an Eevee backpack, you say. I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's coming. She's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Demona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jock about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept appraised of, apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Oh, but her. Oh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Friar. Come on, I'll show you the way. Good morning, Mr. Jock. Hello, hello everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, ooh, me. I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. 
All right, you can come on in. Sup? Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? All right then, he wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question. Me, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Anyone else have a question? What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? All right, you ragamuffins. the cafeteria, I suppose. Talk to Arvin. Egg sandwich, potato salads, pickles, peanut butter sandwich. Hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Friar, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I adorably wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. Our newest... Celebrity. I'm like Harry Potter up in this bitch. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. <laughs> Man said, oh, maybe I was wrong. Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, and will even boost the immune system. And these herbs s seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. This book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning they're that it's going to be pretty tough to get to try and grab a few sprigs. Because the Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. Monsters, of Area Zero. As we descend further into Area Zero, we begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal, brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey, a member of the survey team, <laughs> captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawn Fan, yet differences such as its sheer size and, sha and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either, and I'd rather. I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Nope, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Map app. Boop. 
So there are five Titan Pokemon in total. We will be doing every single part of this game, every path. And like I said in the last episode, there is a specific order that you want to do them, do stuff in. Um, so the levels do actually scale based on a certain level. Someone's calling me. This is Friar, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. Uh, my name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate. There's something I'd like to ask of you. <laughs> Tell me, Friar, you know about Team Star, right? Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star was a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies out of to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. I do need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave, it to, leave you to it. Ah, oh, Master Friar. Please keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young man. Team Star, you say? Sounds like you're eavesdropping. Okay. Gotta go find the Mona. Very well, Champion Nimbun. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Friar, hey. Who's that? <sighs> Piked your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which, remi which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Oh, wow, hang on, though. I've got a whole sp spiel I want to give you. Here goes. Okay, I'm not reading all of this. I'm just... I mean, it's just, you know, oh, hey, battle and become stronger. And... Yes, I know how this works, Demona, I promise you.
in trouble. Thank you for coming, Master Fryer. Have you been enjoying your time here at Naranja Academy? That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we would not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. So let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Ooh, she bad. Hello, Friar. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea, at a site known as Area Zero. The professor is, in fact, a, gra a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, let me get straight to the point. <sighs> Prior, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Uh, not that not that I I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Well. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Coridon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Karidon on my behalf? I do appreciate your agreement. Karidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for more mobility. In all likelihood, it requ requires some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. This Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero. Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are capable of. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Coridon. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Friar. Oof, getting called in the end of the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? No, nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jock wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room. Fire, let's go check it out. Ugh. My gosh, 30 minutes and we've accomplished like 
nothing. <laughs> Just exposition. This is a big ass dorm room. How do they, this school must be huge if every student has their own room and they're all this big. See you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Finally. Jesus Christ. Finally get some encounters. A shield. At the bottom of the door, there was like a shoe, like cutting through it. Let's see if it's there. See the little red thing? this play and I'm gonna get something to drink. Yeah, yeah, basic intro nonsense. And we can always come back and go do quests too. Violation of school rules. Don't go there.
try to meet Nimona up here and Arvin and everybody else. Treasure Hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. Point or is it to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily? Or more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gems. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted even. There's stuff you'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if you want to run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. How's that for a student council president, giving your own friends an insider advantage? Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was, he, was suggest that he check out the gym, so it's up to Friar where he goes. Friar's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are going to be too busy visit visiting the layers of Titans and rabbing their Herba Mystica. In serio? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Phone's ringing. <laughs> uh, Operation Starfall, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have another task. Everybody just needs stuff from us, I swear.
Got to be my big dream of tracking down the Urban Mystic that, that is. Should we get those herbs? We'll make you, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. And said sandwiches, and this boy came running. <laughs> well, you're not getting one. So, the first place we have to go is to a gym. That is the first place on the map that, uh... Ooh, and we can actually go here and get... Raid battles. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, this is the first place we need to go, is to this bug gym. fly here. Alright, I think the last thing we're going to do for the episode is to get three new encounters. Oh my gosh, they're so... Okay, we will go to the first... Raid battle we see. Might be this one right around here. If I can get to it. Uh, uh, don't think this is a raid. Oh, yes it is. Okay. So, whatever the Pokemon is, its Terra type is going to be dark. That does not necessarily mean that it will be a dark Pokemon. So... It is, oh my gosh, it's a Bonfly with a Dark Terra type. Uh, well, <laughs> Bonfly is not ideal, but I went on my word. This is the first one I found, so we'll use it. Grass would have been a preferable Terra type for this, but. Well, sort of. I mean, we already have a Grass type, but. There's that random Pokeball again. It's just sitting there. Oh, oh they did nothing. One thing that could be an issue is also I'm not encountering I'm not counting fates in the inside the uh, the raid battles because they're kind of all over the place and random and like I can't swap out a Pokemon either. Like, I can't heal, so... And see, now I would just... I did. But technically, I don't black... I don't white out of the battle, so... 
and the game revives for me. So yeah, we've got to have a few kind of goofy rules for this Nuzlocke, but I think it's okay. animation is like fire. It's like it's so needlessly just powerful. Boom. And we got a bunch of ESP candy and stardust and stuff like that. Alright, well now we have a bonsai. Add him to the team. Because we might as well. Uh. <laughs> I just have a theme of naming Mons after medicine. Apparently, Visine. <laughs> I love these Pokedex images, they're hilarious. There's a fairy type one up there. Oh, he's level 12. He really doesn't even need to be trained up. I've got EXP candies and stuff. See what the other, what that one would have been. The nice thing about Bonsly is I think it learns Mimic at level 16, um, and so as soon as it learns Mimic, we can evolve it. So I'd have a Sudowoodo pretty early. Using pseudo is not ideal in any sense of the imagination, but it is what it is. I don't even know if Bonsai gets any good dark type moves. There's also a ghost one somewhere. There was a grass, there was a normal. Okay, we're gonna fly here. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna get our encounter and then we're gonna get our raid battle encounter. Maybe. These might be too high level. screens. Come on. There we go. Good job. Quest. Quest is this way. Okay. It really 
really bugs me that he's got those two things that look like legs, and they are not legs. Er, not legs, wheels. Yeah, they are not wheels. Yoink. <sighs> okay. Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. We decided to set out heading west from the school, right? Start from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortando. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. Ooh, although, having Bond's Light is very good for that. So, one interesting thing about the gym leaders in this game, they don't necessarily always have a, like, their ace Pokemon might not necessarily be a bug type. It could be a Pokemon that when terrest that terrestrializes into a bug type. Okay, let's just keep walking. Okay, well, that's a hobbit. We already have that. Let's go down here. See what we see. A Mareep. Okay, Mareep is our first encounter. I'm okay with that. I like Mareep. Give us three Pokemon that are really close to evolving. We caught the Marie. Because Marie evolves at level 15. Uh, Catnip will evolve. What's the mattress brand that used to use the se the sheep? Was it Serta? I think it was Serta. That's what we're going with. Oh, there. His entry was very boring. His little picture thing was very boring. Uh, Mareep is okay. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for in this area. Because I know some of the mods that are here. Um, uh, we'll come across them at some point, although I'm seeing nothing but Mareeps and Hoppips right now. Fletchlings, Hoppips. Fletchling would have been cool. Again, not exactly what I wanted, but... Oh, there's some small lives. Would have been okay with that, just because it's something new that I haven't used yet. Um, the only problem would have been is it's another grass type. Starly. Starly would have been good. Okay. That one over there is the first. Oh my gosh. We are going to that one off in the distance. I just pointed in real life and realized that y'all can't see. So. And then we'll kind of do more exploration of this area.
it's still up and about. Like, it's not dark. So t that down there, I don't think is a tear is a is going to be a raid. I think it's just a terrestrialized Pokemon. So, yeah, that's one of the Pokemon that we also can't use. Uh, Mabo Stiff. Oh my gosh, it's Gorbit. Yawn. That might be really high level. If I am not mistaken, this area is higher level. So like, might be in the 20s high. This is the grass one. There's not another one, is there? This one. There's supposedly Hippinis here too. Okay, I was gonna do that one, but I am pretty sure once you hop off that ledge, the Pokemon get higher level, and we wouldn't be able to deal with it, obviously. Like, see, there's a Vespaquin there. Vespaquin is. Well, I say that, I actually don't know what level Vespa Queen involves that. So we're gonna go over to this one. We're gonna make it audible. Man, looks like he's being held up by these small lips. Hopefully this one will be okay. I mean, it's like, really in the same area as everything, so I guess I could battle something to see what level everything's at, but Okay, it's a bonk lie. Never mind, it's a It's a dupe. I don't want dupes. I want new norms. Got it. this Hathini because it's here. Ha! Ah, paralyzed. That was a bonsai with a rock terra type of insane. Okay, let me find my...
here somewhere. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, so the bug gem is level 15, so that's what we need to shoot for. Oh, hey. Hey. Calm down here. Fusions are not the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Just kill this stupid thing. Now it's raining. I gotta use a potion because I'm pretty sure a confusion and a pound would kill me. <sighs> Thank you. It's now level 10. Stupid. Yeah, so we'll come investigate this spot. I am pretty positive it's just a... Well, I guess I can show it off what it is. So it is going to be a... Yeah, it's a diglet that will terastalize in battle. Um, I don't know necessarily if it will be like a different Terra type than what it would normally be. Um, Okay, um... We're gonna see what level these Pokemon are. And I'm choosing an Ozzel real specifically because it would be easy to do. Okay, they're level 7. But we'll come to this one anyway. Of course, I'm also assuming that the Pokemon over here are that same level. It was this one right here. This was the... <laughs> Look at that Bond's line! That man is booking it! Yum. He took a Look at him go! Oh my gosh. Fast as fuck, boy. That's one of the mods that we can't use. <laughs> Fuck off, Pikachu. Dog. I, I, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you, man. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. I just want to come get my item. Get another Pokemon. Go about my business. Okay, this one is rock. Oh, it's a tier two. I don't know that we'll be able to do that. I'm fairly certain a tier two is going to be a lot higher. Um, I think that's what that means. Oh, that one died. <laughs> I promise I'm not just being overly picky because I would have been more than happy with the fan fee. I just... I want something that I can actually use. Okay, I can't even get to that one. Okay. If 
fire, fire. This hasn't switched mods, has it? Nope. Okay, I guess we're gonna try our hands at the Fampy. That thing may be super high level. No. Fanfi with a rock terra type. That's not terrible. Is it a learn? Sto is it if you teach it Stone Edge or Rock Slide, then you're good on. Sprigatito, this sounds like a you thing. Oh, we're up over an hour. So I think what I'm going to do, between episodes, I'm going to go back to the first area, battle all the traitors there, um, and then I'm going to come back here, and instead of doing that off-camera, I will actually battle them so he gets some substance in. For Brawler, Cricketoon, Sandile, there's the Pokeball again. Oh my gosh, the Rock Terra thing is really cool. Ooh, Sandile's Intimidate. Oh no, he's gonna roll out. Actually, that's kind of scary too. That did nothing. We're gonna go for Home Claws. We've got crab roller going for bubble beams. Home class is not helpful if I'm not alive. I really don't want to forfeit this encounter because this is going to be pretty freaking good if I can get it. But yeah, that red bar up there, that's the... Uh, That's like the timer on the little thing. So you can count it. Why me? Don't attack me. Attack that stupid cricket too. It's not doing us any good anyway. I'm not going to terrestrialize yet because... <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Good job, Cricket Dude. I lied. You are doing something. time. Yes. Oh, did he wake up? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't do like any damage. What the hell? Sand dial do something. Please. <laughs> Let's all just sit here. Like he's going this the sand dial is going for Honestly at this point the bite's probably better. Not taking 
any damage. What the heck? I swear he stopped taking damage. If I would have known what he was going to do, I would have used Psyduck instead. Oh, he died. Oh, he's asleep. He can't damage me. What? You're asleep. There isn't much time left. I know he's dead. Come on. Yes. Catch. I don't have to use a great ball because it matches its colors. This will be a great addition to the team. Hopefully it is not like an insanely high level. Long nose Pokemon. gonna call it in the room because it's the elephant in the room. <laughs> uh, that wasn't that funny. Uh, but it was to me. Oh, he's level 20. <laughs> okay, well, you'll go in the box for a little while. Oh, I have not been writing down these. South Province, Area 2. Okay, so Psyduck and Bonsley. And then in Area 2, it was Mareep. And a Fampy. Sweet. All right, well, oh, I didn't check your summary. What are you? Uh, not the best nature in the world. Let's run back up here to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then uh, when you see me next, we will be uh, ready to take on the gym. We'll do some other trainers first, but that will also be an option. Um, we'll have our squad fully leveled up uh, to around 15, which means Mareep should be evolved. Uh, uh, Bonsly will be pretty close. Brigatito should be pretty close. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here and checking out these episodes. It means a lot. Um, I'm going to keep trying and coming through with them. I'm 
really enjoying this, especially that I since I figured out like how to do a nuzlocke of it. Um, that's really why it took so long, is I didn't know how to do one. And now that I've got a plan, it uh, works out. So, yeah, guys. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling at this point. So, I'll see you in the next one. This episode's been long enough. Uh, this is Friar Chuck saying goodbye.